Well, only on five tonight, we've learned the state attorney's office will not be filing charges in what it calls a heartbreaking tragedy. Last year, two children, just seven and nine years old, drowned in a swimming pool when a dive tank they were playing with was only filled with helium. As WPTV's Megan McRoberts reports, some of the children's family members are now pleading with the state attorney to give the case another look. At just seven and nine years old, Zale and Saxon were true Florida kids. They loved animals and spending time at their family's farm at Jupiter Creamery. Zale was sweet and shy, according to her uncle Chuck Dudas. I loved to do artwork, was a little calmer, um, whereas Saxon, he, he was wild. And by design, they were destined to be water lovers. Their father, an experienced scuba diver. In this video, you see them trying out scuba gear, but as family points out, always while supervised. No one can be an expert at seven, especially in a, in a dangerous sport like scuba diving. Chuck says they definitely weren't strong enough to be left alone, but last April investigators with the Martin County Sheriff's Office said Zale and Saxon were left alone in a swimming pool at their father's friend's home in Jensen Beach, who was also a diver. Investigators said the children were given a tank to play with in the pool that was filled with only helium, not a proper air mixture. It's unfortunate they were breathing helium, which can make you go unconscious in seconds. Their father and friend finding them unconscious later pronounced dead. This happened under the supervision of these experts. Doesn't seem like that's something that is just, it just to me, just simply can be called an accident. He, other family and friends are sending letters now to the state attorney's office, asking them to reconsider misdemeanor charges for negligence and child neglect. We'd like, we'd like there to be criminal cases, uh, criminal charges brought at, at a minimum. But Chief Deputy John Budenseek says it's not that simple. The detective started the investigation thinking there's two children that have passed in this case. Surely someone needs to be held responsible criminally. But when we took our emotion out of it and had and looked at the case objectively, which we have to do, it's hard to do, but we did, it looks like it was just a freak accident. You have to have a clear pattern of neglect where you should have known that the outcome will be death. And in this case, we did not have that. The state attorney's office also said in a statement in part, after significant legal research, it was determined the state could not in good faith seek criminal charges in this heartbreakingly tragic event. Stated quite simply, the law and facts prohibit a criminal prosecution in this instance. We have tried reaching out to the children's father for a statement. There is also an ongoing civil case. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.